Hi, my name is Goldie, and I am the creative director at Subversions Media, and this is your Thursday free. Today we're going to be talking about three tips for becoming a better DP. For those of you that don't know what DP means, DP is Director of Photography. I was a DP for about 10 years before I switched over into directing, and since then I have directed a lot of other DPs, and I also do a lot of work as an editor, so I have edited a lot of footage for a lot of different DPs. You absolutely want to practice as much as you possibly can. And practice with as many different types of cameras and lenses as you can. If you don't have the access to purchase a lot of different gear, then try to rent it if you have the budget for that. If you don't have the budget to rent gear, see if you have friends that will let you borrow it. See if there are nonprofit organizations that you can sign up for a membership for and have access to their gear library. There are a lot of options to get access to gear. And even if you can't get access to really fancy high-end gear, just shoot as much as you possibly can with what you do have available. Any gear will help you get better at shooting. Having access to different types of gear will definitely teach you a lot about the different kinds of looks you get with different camera bodies and different lenses. But just refining your skill set at finding shots and finding your framing and seeing what works lighting wise, all of that will help improve your skill set. So don't worry as much about having to have exactly the right gear. Just practice as much as you can with whatever you have access to. Tip number two when you're watching videos online, when you're watching TV shows, when you're watching movies, and you come across something that really inspires you, Take the time to sit down with a notebook and take notes. And stop what you're watching, look at the framing, look at what they've done with the lighting. Really take the time to figure out what it is about what you're watching that really speaks to you and how they did it. And that way you learn more techniques or how to apply that to your own shoots. Don't just passively watch something through and think, oh, that's cool. If you see something you like, take the time to stop, break it down, take notes, and then try to apply it to what you're shooting on your own. Tip number three, and I would say this might be the most important one, is learn how to edit. I know a lot of DPs don't necessarily want to do post-production and sitting in front of a computer is not nearly as exciting as being out on set or being out on location and shooting, but if you know how to edit, and if you know how your shots are going to piece together and how they're going to work together in post-production and the final video, you will save yourself so much time and so much effort in shooting. I work with DPs who don't do post-production at all and they'll give me lots and lots and lots of shots, but most of them won't piece together. They don't work with each other. They don't flow into each other. And I've worked with DPs who do edit and I get less footage, but I get more usable shots. I get shots that cut together. I get shots that work together coherently to tell a story. So if you know how to edit, it's gonna make your shooting a lot more focused and intentional. And it's just gonna make everything about the production so much easier overall. So those would be my three tips. Practice as much as you can. Do your research, figure out what it is that other people are doing that you like, learn those techniques, practice those techniques, and learn how to edit. Learn how your footage is actually gonna work in the final video, because you can have gorgeous raw shots and it doesn't help anyone if they don't cut together to tell a coherent story. If you have any other suggestions of tips that you think DPs should know, people who are starting out learning how to shoot, go ahead and comment those down in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next Thursday 3.